no matter what actions we do it's motivated by two main driving force it's either out of love and freedom or fear or force so are you coming to yoga with fear that you have to start yoga otherwise start losing your body started with fear archana and then turning to me fear can be a driving force so that's why you have to ask yourself this question no matter what you're doing is it with fear or is it with love most of the time people work out of fear that's the driving force in their life which is not good so you have to have that moment to moment awareness why i am doing this ask this question to you anything any project you take whether at home office or wherever is it fear or is it love because fear will always bind you love will always give you freedom when you love and do something what is guilt then so is it fear or is it love guilt is a form of fear guilt is guilt cannot be positive at all because it will kill you guilt is a negative feeling it will eat you up sometimes you are doing things without just you have to do it no is it the fear or something or you are just unknowingly doing it just say part of considering part of life just like a chore right you know like you have to do it so you have to get it done right yeah so there is no no love no fear but you have to still do it to to survive or achieve something see when you say to survive it's a fear based survival is always fear based because a mind is always looking for survival survival is fear because you're going to not survive if you're not going to do that thing whether it's your job or uh, whatever you do there are only two driving force in life so those of you who are coming to yoga with fear it's okay to have fear initially that your body part is getting old or whatever you're thinking or you're getting some disease fear may be a starting point but fear is not that sustains remember that it's a love and the devotion for your own actions that will sustain you so that you keep coming to yoga with your practice more you practice more you develop that love for it so that's why you have to fall in love with the process and not the goal suppose your goal is get rid of some disease or lose some weight or whatever your goal of yoga is many of you fill the form when you initially sign the form that you have these goals that may be a fear factor or that may be a driving factor for you but that should not be always in the back of your mind you should fall in love with your daily practice coming to the mat again and again and again and forget about your goal two main things in yoga abhyas and vairagya abhyas every day practice every day vairagya is little detachment from your goal once you set the goal forget about it ask yourself what am i doing today because when you focus more attention on the goal you're postponing your happiness when that goal is achieved isn't it you're thinking i'll get happiness when i achieve that goal it should never be like that no action or no project should be up taken with that in mind